is Corey. I'm an American living in Norway. I'm a former assistant children's librarian and I have friends around the world for whom I would like to read and with whom I'd like to sing. Today's story time is about food. I love to cook, I love to bake, and I love to eat. Our first book today is a classic, one of my personal favorites, The Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carle. In the light of the moon, a little egg lay on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the sun came up and pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple, but he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears, but he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums, but he was still hungry. On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries, but he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges, but he was still hungry. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night he had a stomach ache. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf, and after that he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore, and he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big, fat caterpillar. He built a small house, called a cocoon, around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and he was a beautiful butterfly. Now you may have heard some barking in the background there. That's my mother-in-law's dog, Mira. Sometimes she'll come into story time and she'll say hello, but today she's gonna stay outside and say hello to whoever's visiting. Now we're gonna sing a song. Do you know Patty Cake? I bet you do. It goes like this. Patty Cake, Patty Cake, Baker's Man. Bake me a cake as fast as you can. Roll it and stir it and mark it with a B. Put it in the oven for baby and me. Good job. Now I'm gonna read a newer book about a silly unicorn named Oscar. And this is Oscar the Hungry Unicorn. And it's by Lou Carter and Nikki Dyson. Doesn't he look hungry? I think he does. Oscar is hungry, but he's eaten everything, including his stable. Munch, munch. He'll have to find a new home and something else to nibble. This will do nicely. But the witch doesn't like Oscar eating her stuff or her cottage. Poof! Oh my. Oscar can't stay on the pirate ship. Crunch. Now it's got a hole in it. Arr! Glug, glug. And the fairies don't want a hungry unicorn in their meadow. They say it's not okay to eat the toadstools. Not even the tiddly ones. Hmm. Woof. Oscar won't be invited to the dragon's cave again. The pizzas were meant for sharing. And he wasn't supposed to eat the flashy lights or the DJ. 
fit his tummy. <laughs> but Oscar is very welcome at the giant's table. Slurp. Whoosh. Very, very welcome. Poor Oscar. Will he ever find a new home and something else to nibble? He's tried everywhere. Beware trolls. Witch's cottage. Ye old pirate ship. Fairy meadow. Dragon's cave. Giant's table. Except over that bridge. Oscar really likes bridges. Wobble, wobble, crunch. And trolls really like unicorns. Uh-oh, who's gonna eat who here? But look, sploosh. What a stroke of luck. Oscar tumbles head over hoof into Princess Ula's boat. Unicorn rescue. Princess Ula has been searching for a unicorn forever. Unicorns welcome. Ta-da! She says that unicorns are the absolute most wonderful things in the whole wide world. Ula is right. Oscar will be happy in Ula's castle. <gasps> and not quite so hungry. Ula loves her unicorn to the moon and back. And Oscar would eat that too, if only he could reach. Uh-oh, I think he did reach. What do you think? Now we're gonna sing about pancakes. And it goes slow at first, and then we'll go a little faster, and then we'll go a little faster, and then we'll go as fast as we can. Are you ready? Mixin' pancakes, stirrin' pancakes, pop em in the pan. Frying pancakes, flipping pancakes, catch em if you can. All right, now try it a little faster. Mixin' pancakes, stirrin' pancakes, pop em in the pan. Frying pancakes, flipping pancakes, catch em if you can. And a little faster. Mixing pancakes, stirring pancakes, pop them in the pan. Frying pancakes, flipping pancakes. Oh, I can't do it. <laughs> I've already made a mistake. Let me try that again. Mixing pancakes, stirring pancakes, pop them in the pan. Frying pancakes, flipping pancakes, capture. <laughs> I bet you at home can do a lot better than I can. Give it a try. Since I live in Norway, it wouldn't be fun without reading a book in Norwegian. However, Norwegian is my fourth language. Here, now you can see it. <laughs> so I'm a little eh, about it. Uh, so bear with me. I'm not going to read it as smoothly as I read other books. And what I'm going to read is Vistigir a Mouse in Chicks. Some of you might recognize it as If You Give a Mouse a Cookie by Laura Numeroff. Now this particular book has both if you give a mouse a cookie and if you give a moose a muffin. Laura Numeroff has written a lot of good books and it happens to have both of them in here along with some activities and some recipes. So if you live in Norway and if you live anywhere near Hunnefus, which is where I live, you can go to the Ringerik uh, library or you can go to Bibliophil app and you can find this book and borrow it. Hvis du gir a mus en kjeks, kommer hun nok til å be om et glas av melk. Når du gir henne melken, vil hun be om et sulgrør. Når hun er ferdig, spør hun om en serviet. Så vil hun se i speilet for å sjekke om har hun, hun har melkebart. Når hun ser seg i speilet, kan det hun, hende... Wow, that's a mouthful. Kan det hende hun synes at håret bor klippes? Så hun kommer helt sikkert til å be om en liten saks. 
når hun har klippt ferdig, hun vil ha et feiebrett. Hun begynner å feie. Kanskje blir hun så irvi at hun feier hele huset. Å oh my! Det kan til og med det kan til og med hende at hun vasker gulvene. Etterpå vil hun ganske sikkert ta seg en lur. Da må du rø opp en liten seng med putte og dine. Hun kraver opp i rigger. <laughs> hun kraver opp og rigger seg til. Hun rister putte et par gang ganger. Så spår hun sikkert om du kan lese en historie. Du leser at du leser et av blavene, blavene, boy, let's try that again. Du leser et av bladene dine for henne, og da vil hun se på bildene. Når hun ser på bildene, blir hun så irvig at hun vil tegne. Hun ber om papir og farger blianter. Hun tegner en tegning. Når den er ferdig, hun vil skrive navnet sitt på den. Med den. Og så vil hun henge tegningen på kjøleskapet. Det betyr at hun trenger... Type. Hun henger opp bildet og står og ser på det. Når hun ser på kjøleskapet, hun på at hun har toast så hun vil be om et glas melk hvis du gir henne melk er sjansen ganske stor for at hun vil ha kjeks også now this is a song I used to sing when I was a little girl and some of your parents might know this song. They might not. A lot of my friends are younger than I am, but we'll give it a try. It starts out singing regularly. Then you sing the verses with the A sound and then the B sound. So it goes like this. I like to eat. I like to eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat. I like to eat, eat apples and bananas. Now we sing it with the A sound. I like to eat, I like to eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, I like to eat, eat apples and bananas. Now we do it with the B sound. I like to eat, I like to eat, eat apples and bananas. I like to eat, I like to eat, eat. Peoples and Beninis. That's a silly song. Our last story for today is a fun one about dragons. I love dragons who love tacos. And I love tacos. Check it out. This is by Adam Rubin. Dragons love tacos. Hey kid, did you know that dragons love tacos? They love beef tacos and chicken tacos. They love really big gigantic tacos and teeny little baby tacos as well. Why do dragons love tacos? Maybe it's the smell from the sizzling pan. <sighs> Maybe it's the crunch of the crispy tortillas. Either way, if you want to make friends with dragons, tacos are key. Hey dragon, why do you guys love tacos so much? Make sure I got the right page. But wait, as much as dragons love tacos, they hate spicy salsa even more. 
They hate spicy green salsa and spicy red salsa. They hate chunky spicy salsa and smooth spicy salsa. If the si salsa is spicy at all, dragons can't stand it. Why do dragons hate spicy salsa? Well, just one drop of hot sauce makes a dragon's ears smoke. Just a single speck of hot pepper makes a dragon snort sparks. Spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles, and when dragons get the tummy troubles, oh boy. If you want to make tacos for dragons, keep the toppings mild. Tomatoes? Check. Lettuce? Check. Cheese? Check. These are all good toppings for tacos for dragons. Hey dragon, how do you feel about spicy taco toppings? Yeah. Dragons love parties. They like costume parties and pool parties. They like big gigantic parties with accordions and little tiny parties with charades. Why do dragons love parties? Maybe it's the conversation. Maybe it's the dancing. Maybe it's the comforting sound of a good friend's laughter. The only thing dragons love more than parties or tacos is taco parties. Taco parties are parties with lots of tacos. If you want to have some dragons over for a taco party, you need a bucket of tacos. Pant loads of tacos. The best way to judge is to get a boat and fill the boat with tacos. That's about how many tacos dragons need for a taco party. After all, dragons love tacos. Hey dragon, are you excited for the big taco party? I think he is. Just remember, dragons hate spicy salsa. Before you host your party with dragons, get rid of all the spicy salsa. In fact, bury the spicy salsa in the backyard so the dragons can't find it. These dragons love your taco party. They love the music. They love the decorations. They especially love the tacos. Congratulations! It's a good thing you got rid of all that spicy... Wait a second. What are those little green things in the salsa? You didn't read the fine print? Now with spicy jalapeno peppers. Uh-oh. Dragons, listen to me. Do not eat those tacos. Those little green specks in the salsa, those are jalapeno peppers. They are super spicy. I know you love tacos, dragons, but you are not going to love those tacos. Do not let those dragons eat those tacos! Crunch, crunch, crunch. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Look at that. What happened? What happened to the house? Look at the dragons. Why would dragons help you rebuild your house? Maybe they're good Samaritans. Maybe they feel bad for wrecking it. Maybe they're just in it for the taco breaks. After all, dragons love tacos. Thanks everyone for watching and playing and singing with me. I really hope you had a good time. We are going to do a different story time each week. And if you check out the link in the section below, you'll have the activity sheet and the song sheet so you can sing along. You can of course watch the video again and again and use the song sheet with it. I encourage you to do so. I encourage you to visit your local library no matter where you live. 
We're on the tail end of summer, but you may still be able to participate in summer reading. And like I said, that's around the world. So check out your local library. Even the smallest libraries tend to have summer reading. And some of them have live story time. So I definitely recommend that. Get yourself a library card. You can use OverDrive, which is an app for your phone. It's for iPhone and for Android. And it will allow you to check out books, audiobooks, ebooks. Um, you can check out books for your local library. You can reserve them online and then have them sent to the library where you can pick them up. There's so many things you can do with OverDrive. If you're like me and you live in a part of the country where OverDrive isn't available, it isn't available all over the world, just in some countries. Uh, in Norway, you can use the Bibliophil app, which allows you to access your local library. And you can do just about the same thing as you can do in OverDrive. Thank you guys so much for having fun with me today, and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care. Thank, Thank you, Gracias, you, Gracias, you, Gracias. Gracias.